Yeah, when we think about the, the epicutaneous immunotherapy for peanut allergy or fruit allergy, you know, this is a, a very promising um, treatment option as well, and it's going to be very different. Uh, it's just a different regimen. We have much decreased uh, risk of side effect. Uh, you put a patch on the skin and you wear it every day. Um, it doesn't have the same efficacy and the ability to increase the amount that somebody could eat without having a reaction, but it seems like it's going to offer at least enough protection from cross-contamination and all those packaged products that say may contain or processed in a facility that uh, may have shared equipment with peanut or nuts or things like that. So I think when families think about the epicutaneous versus oral immunotherapy or ongoing avoidance, it really is going to be a, a consideration of how old is the child, what's their prior clinical history, uh, what does the daily regimen look like with each treatment option, and what are the long-term sort of outcomes that they're going for. So it'll be an interesting discussion. It certainly is not one size fits all, nor should it be, but it's going to require a really thoughtful conversation with families to consider which path to pursue. I think the conversation surrounding food allergy immunotherapy is, is going to continue to evolve uh, in two specific realms. One, we need to figure out what this looks like in real life. Uh, just because products are available uh, doesn't mean necessarily that we're going to be able to implement this on a wide scale. So we need to better study that and have those conversations to really help all the practicing allergists out there understand what this looks like on a daily um, practice setting. And number two, I think we're going to see this for other foods. Um, so in addition to peanut, uh, there's going to be exploration at looking at tree nut desensitization, uh, egg desensitization, potentially cow's milk and things along those lines. So you know, I think each year that passes, this meeting is going to have more and more sessions talking about the latest research in this. And I'm really excited for five to ten years from now. It's going to be a very different conversation that we're having then than what we're having now.